They'll be calling you a radical. There's a lot to talk about in this video, so hang in there with me. Stay with me. Number one, not my words, new station in Portland reporting Hanfer is a major catastrophe. They've had a full blown out leak in one of their tanks. That'll tie this into the whole nuclear waste thesis, the 30th anniversary of Chernobyl, the Operation Hot Potato, the whole nuclear crime syndicate, this whole insanity we call nuclearism. Now look, everybody, all hands on deck, all hands on deck. First and foremost, our small army, our incredible army, my incredible army, the post service army, you all know who you are, every nook, cranny around this country. Don't underestimate us at your own peril. Look, get off this trying to contemporize the sheep and get the sheep in there. This is way over their head. Just leave them alone. Let them go. Let them do whatever they fucking want. We, this is our tactical army versus them. We're going to win this fucking war. We're going to take down this fucking nuclear fucking cartel. I'm going to get into Barry fucking Bandar and this whole fucking nightmare and the globalist fucking regime from A to Z. First and foremost, I wanted to get this up today to make sure that it had a published link to set April 18th. It is the 110th anniversary of the San Francisco quake. And that'll tie us into Hanford, that'll tie us into San Lafrey Diablo, the whole insanity of this fucking madness. The fucking Bandar going over there to Saudi Arabia. It's the whole fucking globalist fucking, look, I got news for you. The top of the pyramid, all you fuckers says we're gonna take them down. The whole globalist, all the repression, all the fucking, you know, human rights abuses, all the things, the dairy tip of its nuclearism. So, look, if you think the San Francisco quake was a big one, it was a big one, 7.8. But remember this, 1964, in the United States, on the coast, on the Pacific, we had a 9.2. Now, I want people to very much understand, if the quake that happened in San Francisco 110 years ago happened again, you're evacuating. Not just California, you're probably going to evacuate the whole, the country's over. The spent fuel at Diablo Canyon and San Onofre. There's swimming pools set there. They went over capacity in 1991. This kicking the can, this political football, you know, Hanford doesn't prove to you this, how insane this is, the, the whole madness. Now you think about this, so I'll be in Sacramento. The 26th, look, they're doing their public hearings. By law, they have to do the public hearings. And you people in upstate New York, I need somebody, somebody in my army, I need you to go over to Cornell, it's in Ithaca, on the 25th. Allison McFarland is speaking there. It's 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 a uh, public. It's open. It's free. And just ask her about when Barbara Boxer's office went at her, and they tried to. She was told to stand down by Allison McFarland. Now she's got out of there since. You just need to ask her. Is it true that the Nuclear Crime Syndicate, the Nuclear Regulatory Committee, which, by the way, the NRC is laying off a bunch of people like they do anything anyway, the Nuclear Rally Cheerleaders, you need to ask her if, how, how can you, with full congressional oversight, congression, all the strengths of the United States Constitution, the Nuclear Rally Cheerleaders can make them stand down. So back to the 30th anniversary of Chernobyl, now you think about this, so they schedule these hearings by law, they have to. Now you know we've been hammering away San Lover. Get it off San Lover. Get it off Diablo Canyon. Yo, know, get it out of there. Before we get one of these quakes, I'm telling you, you get this quake, it's over. Hanfer doesn't teach you this. So Barack Obama. Now this is think about this. The 9-11 families have sued. In 1976, Congress passed this insane law that protected solvent wealth funds, protected countries, chunk of money from any lawsuit. That wasn't passed till 17 or 1976. An insane law. So they're trying to sue the royal family on 9-11, which they should be sued. I mean, they funded it. So now the, hear me out. Hear me out. This is real important. Oh, you know, our army, you know who you are. You know, we had the Hillary emails before anybody had them. We're going to get PV's emails with spread, but I want my words. All congressmen and women and senators who's vote against this, this is bipartisan bill that's been sponsored. What it is, it's to override that insane law in 1776 to give these families the ability to sue. This isn't about the 28 pages, but it is a 20. We don't, I mean, that 28 pages is that much. Not my words, Bob Graham's words, this much. So, look. If they're able to sue, this goes into the domain, and this is going to crack this freaking globalist. And if you don't think 
you know, Barack Obama is a socialist, he's a communist, he's all that. No, he's a globalist. And if this doesn't prove he's a globalist, he's leaving in the morning to go to Riyadh. Now you think about what a spit in the face this is, why this is going on. These royals are circling the wagons. This is our Hillary Westinghouse, right in Czech. Now, I was in Czech, the Czech Republic. I was there. I was at the leaking reactor. There's a leaking reactor in the Czech Republic. I'm not kidding you. I was at Freedom Eisenhower's house. I was at her house. She passed. You know, the greatest anti-nuclear activist in the world. You know, put her light in me. So, she's using, to the president of Czechoslovakia, Hillary Westinghouse, threatening him over and over and over and over and over. You give this contract. You know, they're, they're forcing this globalist. Why, why the global? It's... Is it all about the money? It's about the repression. It's about the control. You know, it's all about all the free money. Now, remember, so the hot waste, why would they possibly schedule that on the 30th anniversary of Chernobyl? Nobody in their right mind would do that. I mean, anybody that works in this industry, anybody that knows anything about this industry, has got to know how evil and insane that is. Do you know how insane that is? I mean, these people are sick. Well, let's remember the startup of Sendai, the only reactor that's online back in Japan. They started up on the 70th anniversary of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Look it up. That's a fact. So these are madmen. These people are insane. They're crazed. So why they're doing this, putting this up, so they schedule in Sacramento. Why? Because Andy Boise, Idaho. But this one's going to be in Sacramento because they're circling the lobby around lobbyists. By the way, they have to do this. I'll be there. I'll hold their feet to the fire. So Operation Hot Potato, out of one side of the face, they say this. This is the least of the bad options. We're going to put it in whip. Congress never packs whip. Whip caught on fire and blew up. It's still closed. They still have not got permission to reopen it. Same old, same old, same old, same old. So here they're saying in one breath, we're going to make more nuclear waste, more nuclear waste, no more nuclear waste. The next breath, we've got to put it in whip, the least of the bad options. I mean, which is it? They can't have it both ways. Yeah, but they want it both ways. I mean, it's outrageous. It's disgusting. WIP was never passed. WIP's a pilot program. They, they, no one even knew they had plutonium until it blew up just like Hanford. This, I mean, when are you going to wake up and realize this nuclear experiment is the greatest catastrophe in human history? Bar none. I mean, what does it matter with you people? Hello. And look, these people that come into these sites think these are chat rooms. These things, I think they can just say anything. You know, go back to Yahoo, freaking, you know, come on. Hello. So Barack Obama, so there's, new, there's a new member to the family. The, you know, we got Brother Bandar, Brother Bandar, come on. You know, Brother Bandar, Brother Bandar, the whole freaking Bush family freaking connection. Let's get real. Then you got Billy Bandar, Billy Clinton freaking Bandar. Now there's a new member to the family, Barry Bandar. Barry Bandar, and I mean, you think about this royal family. Now, who is this? Come on. The Saudi family took over Saudi Arabia. They took it over. They took over the country. That's why it's an ancient Saudi Arabia. Bin Laden's dad built up the freaking kingdom. Yeah, come on. Come on. The most repressive society on the face of the earth, bar none. Human rights atrocities to the millionth power. Here we are right in bed with them. We created them. Standard Oil on Balco. Rosemary's baby. Russell's baby. Freaking Rockefeller's baby. Russell's baby. Obama. The Bandars. Here we go. So this is outrageous. So I'm telling you, all hands on deck. Look, every single one of you, anybody that knows anything that's about this, this whole globalist regime, look, any senator, any congressman that votes against this, at your own peril. I'm here to tell you. This is beyond a political football. This is beyond a political freaking hot potato. Operation hot potato. So this is important. Now look, you need to show up with me. A few of you at least in Sacramento. We'll go to the Capitol and we'll protest. We'll hold up our signs. We need to protest in front of this. It's at 3 o'clock. This is important that we're there. Because here's the problem. They've had no resistance. These guys have had carte blanche and now they got Kevin Blanche. You know, I'll, look. I'm telling you, my army has taken a long time to develop this army. My army, this post ignorance army, is very, very real. It's freaking so concrete. I mean, I get every single thing in every corner of the world before anybody gets it on this nuclear thesis. Any senator or congressman that votes against this, at your own perils, all I got to tell you. We are watching. We know who you are, and we saw what you did. Look, it's very simple. How can you not allow these families to go after to get it into the public domain? That's how we got San Lafrey shut down. I mean, it's real simple. you got to get this into the public domain. Once it goes into the court system, we get a C. Then the transparency happens. They could play this Patriot Act all they want. They could play this whole thing, which, by the way, again, back to Cornell, she shoved that underground. How is that even possible they were able to do this? How is it even possible? So the NRC, the Nuclear Row and Cheerleaders, as I call them, 
Bart Boxer's office goes on. She sent her people right to. Alice McFarland was head of it then. She later stepped down, thrown to the wolves to block Yuck him out for Harry Reid. So they go there. Barbara Boxer's own words. They told, they told the seat shit. They told us straight up, we're the nuclear crime syndicate. We run this country. The hell with the Constitution. Hell with congressional law. All the power she has, they told me shit. Not my word, Barbara Boxer's words. I mean, so you think about, this is not just bad timing. I mean, oh, Barack Obama is a socialist. He's a communist. He's a capitalist. No, he's a globalist. Brother Bandar, Bush Bandars, the whole Bushy family, freaking Billy Bandar, Rockefeller's baby, Russell's baby, Rosemary's baby. Now we got Barry Ben R in the club. I mean, crack this thing wide up. This is, Hanford's a big deal. This is a big deal. It just shows you. Oh, we got birth defects all over down the state of Washington, up and down the Columbia. There's no fish in the freaking fishermen can't fish, skiers who can't ski, surfers who can't surf. Come on, wake up. Wake up and everybody, oh, you know who this army is. Look, we fight with our minds. We don't believe in violence. We're beating. We're going to, I mean, we're getting, we're winning. It has nothing to do with money, has anything, it has to do with our lives, it has to do with the environment, it has to do with the starving to death dead wells. Where'd you sleep last night, Cap? I slept in the dead fucking pines with the sun from Fukushima. Japan always fucking shines. Went off to Iraq to get a big old sack for Dick Cheney and friends. Got the new Swiss bank account, Barry Antoinette. Let them eat yellow cake. Oh, we're gonna release those. That whistleblower gave us all the freaking Boeing for Diablo, bound for San Lover. He's gonna we we got all the Swiss bank account now. We'll give you till the January 1st, 2011, to give him. Oh no, he's got his own now. Went off to Afghanistan to fight the Taliban. They're still there, he's all gone. Went off to Vietnam to kill the Viet Cong. The commies, them commies now, in a name only, GM, Apple, IBM, Caterpillar, in name only. They don't employ anybody here. They don't pay any taxes in here. The country's loot. The country's last thing is the air and the water. American toxic. How nice is now they vandalize us. The boogeyman, fear. Come on. Our small armor, we do not need the masses. We do not need, look, this is all we have. We have YouTube, this incredible, oh, it's just the internet. It's just concrete. It's just fire. It's just the will. It's just a YouTube camera with Kevin Blanche. Carte Blanche? No, Kevin Blanche. So, 3 o'clock, we'll meet up in Sacramento before that. I'll be there and I rely on freaking public funding, you know that, to do this work, this incredible work that we do to our army. And like I said, everybody's eyes need to be done. This is a very, very big deal. This is a very big event. I mean, I want to get this published on the 18th because it's the 110th anniversary. This earthquake, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. The San Onofre Diablo Canyon clock, tick tock. What's leukemia? You know, when you get cancer, when I was in that bone marrow transplant center, I'll tell you what, I wasn't having dreams about girls or money. I could tell you that right now. You know, on my deathbed, no oh, curse of spite that I was ever born to set this right, my place, my time. Cassandra and Hamlet had a mutated baby by the freaking sea. Sea Kevin fight for the sea, for the wells and the starfish, for you, for me. Stand tuned. Big freaking events going on right now. Let's stay in this fight. We have the internet. Stay in tune.